he said, I went skydiving, I went Rocky Mountain climbing. Yeah, everybody, Patrol Gaming, and welcome back to another reaction video. Well, I've got some more Tim McGraw. We've done like one or two of his um, songs. I thought we'd do another one. Somebody sent me this link, and this is Live Like You Were Dying. So eh, this better not be one more of these bloody country songs you get to listen to, and it pulls in your heartstrings, and uh, there's no other genre that does it for me like country. It's just unbelievable. Let's jump in. This is going to be Tim McGraw and Live Like You Were Dying. Said I was in my early forties with a lot of life before me when a moment came that stopped me on a dime. I spent most of the next days looking at the x-rays, talking about the options and talking about sweet time. I asked him when it sank in that this might really be the real end. How's it hit you when you get that kind of news? Man, what'd you do? And he said, I went skydiving. I went Rocky Mountain climbing. I went 2.7 seconds on a bull named Blue Manchu. And he said, someday I hope you get the chance to live like you were dying. He said, I was finally the husband, but most of the time I wasn't. I became a friend a friend would like to have And all of a sudden going fishing Wasn't such an imposition And I went three times that year I lost my dad Well, I, I finally read the good book And I took a good long hard look At what I'd do if I could do it all again I went skydiving, I went Rocky Mountain climbing, I went 2.7 seconds on a bull named Blue Mansion, and I looked deeper, and I spoke sweeter, and I gave forgiveness I've been denying, and he said, someday I hope you get the chance to live like like tomorrow was a gift And you got eternity To think about what you do with it What did you do with it What did I do with it What would I do with it Skydiving I went Rocky Mountain climbing I went two points
it is one of those songs, but it's oh, 2004. Damn. Okay. Um, but it's. Cancel that one. Um, it's one of those songs that make you think, um, you know, there's always those songs that make you stop and think, but um, it was definitely one of those country ones that pull at your heartstrings, but it was bittersweet and uplifting at the same time, you know. Um, unfortunately, you know, it, what I'm trying to say is some people don't live until they're actually dying, you know. Um, you know, especially when they put off stuff that they can do and they say, oh, you know, I, I do it all the time. I find myself doing all the, you know, what? Well, I'll do that next year, you know. I'll do that in a couple of years. I'll do that in five years. I'll do that, you know, when I retire, you know, when I have time. And, and then you get, you know, as you said, you get to your early, mid-40s and you think, I should have actually done that before. I should have done it like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, five years ago. Damn, I could have done it last year, you know. So I've been trying to to do that as well, you know. Um, it, so I don't want to get to that stage where, you know, you get that bad news and you can't do it. You know, my parents died very early. They weren't even 60, you know, and you come up close and closer and closer to that age and you think you know is that going to happen to me i don't want to be have these regrets you know i've never gone skydiving i don't think i'll ever go skydiving i don't care if i'm dying tomorrow i'm definitely not going skydiving um <laughs> no certainly not um but you know there's other things that you know the moral is you know don't put it off do it do it um i know with covid and the lockdown and everything it's really put a a kibosh on, you know, um, everybody's ability to, but then again, you know, people have been learning guitars, people have been learning languages, people have been learning new skills and, you know, new life hacks that they call it. Whereas, you know, you come and it's what, two years now, COVID and whatever else, we're going into our third year. I haven't learned a language. I haven't even learned two words in a different language. It's hard enough to speak English, you know, um, and you think, you know, I've had two years of this so-called lockdown and what have I done? Nothing. It's just like, you know, you've got to get out and you've got to do stuff, you know, you've got to do it. So, um, I'm doing it. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing, but it, doing different stuff, but, um, uh, do it, do it now. You know, you never know when you're going to get the time to do it again. So live like you're dying and just Go and do whatever it is, you know, love a little more, forgive a little more, you know, as he said, talk a little bit sweeter, give that forgiveness that you, you've been hanging on to that you haven't, you know, there is no point hanging on to it. So I really like that song. Damn country. I, I knew it was going to be, you know, I, I, when I read the title, I thought, oh, here we go. But that was actually bittersweet and actually uplifting. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. So thank you very much for that suggestion. Thank you. Thumbs up for you. Um, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down here. Make sure you, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button too. You definitely won't regret it too. So, and you can come back for any more reactions. But in the meantime, guys, make sure you stay safe and go out and do it. Do it. Just do it. Oh, wait, is that copyrighted? I don't know. Is that copyrighted? I don't know, but anyway, whatever it is, just do it. And guys, I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video.